How to teach Leave It from dogs and people. Once you've trained your dog a reliable Leave It cue away from food, using only positive reinforcement, you can teach your dog the cue applies to other dogs and people as well. Step 1. Practice your leave it away from food. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Step 2. Practice the leave it away from a person holding food. Leave it. Good girl. Good girl. If your dog is scared of people, Use a person your dog likes in the training session, and then practice from other people at a distance. This, leave it. If your dog doesn't turn away when you say leave it, you can 1. Encourage your dog with your voice, 2. Walk backwards and away from the distraction with your dog on a leash and harness, and 3. If it keeps happening, work from further away and then move closer. Leave it. Step 3. Practice the leave it away from a person holding nothing. Leave it. Good boy. Leave it. Awesome. Step 4. Practice the leave it away from a person with a dog. In the first few training sessions, you want to use a dog that your dog is most comfortable with, so a dog your dog lives with or one of your dog's friends. If your dog isn't comfortable with any dogs, you simply have to work with your dog at a distance that your dog is comfortable. For your dog, that might actually be 30 feet away from the other dog, or even more than that. Because Dace the Rottweiler was comfortable with the other dog, I could walk straight towards the other dog and then use my leave it cue and walk the other way. You can also click and treat your dog for walking on a loose leash as well as choosing to leave the other dog on their own. If you're worried your dog might bite the other dog or person, make sure to keep a distance so that your dog is out of reach and have your dog in a safe muzzle just in case. Step 6. Add criteria and distractions. In this shot, I'm adding the criteria of the duration of the behavior leave it. Here we are adding criteria to the leave it cue with two Yorkies that like to bark at dogs that walk past their window. Because the Yorkies were doing so well, we added the distraction of getting the other dog to bark on cue. One more time, sorry. If your dog is reactive or guards food or space, do not get close enough to the other person or dog where your dog will react. Instead, practice your cue at a distance that your dog is comfortable. This cue can also be used for dogs that are overly friendly in order to get them away from a person who might be overexciting your dog. If your dog really likes the person in the dog, you can give your dog permission to go say hi as a reward for good behavior. What's the big deal about using intimidation? When using old school dog training, a trainer might use intimidation such as saying no, eh eh, or jerking on the dog's leash to train them to leave things alone. The problem with using punishment and intimidation to train a cue is that whether you like it or not, Pavlov is always on your shoulder and the dog will start to have a conditioned emotional response to the cue similar to the feeling the dog had when he was punished by the trainer. If you were to continually pair a cue conditioned with punishment with another dog or person, the dog would start to associate the other dog or person with punishment as well. 
This can be detrimental to your training if you are trying to get your dog to be more social and comfortable around people and dogs. Fearful behaviors and reactivity are the side effects of an underlying behavioral problem. It can seem like training is working when you use punishment because the dog stops doing what you didn't like. However, you are suppressing the symptoms instead of addressing the cause. By using a leave it cue trained with only positive reinforcement, you are not only asking for an alternate behavior to do instead of the one you didn't like, but you're also pairing the person or dog with a cue that your dog finds highly reinforcing. This means that you'll be conditioning a reinforcing association with the dog or person when you use the cue.